One thing I always stress to media relations clients is they're going to do better if they have a greater understanding of the media. So I encourage them and teach them and help them to think more critically about the media, what's going on, why are they doing the things that they're doing and what does it mean for you? There's a great documentary on just now on Channel 4 called How the Spice Girls Changed Britain and it talks a lot about the workings of the media in the rise and fall of the Spice Girls phenomenon. Um, I was a huge Spice Girls fan, especially Emma Bunton. I don't mind uh, don't mind admitting it. I was really interested, it was 17, 18 at the time, in that whole phenomenon and just getting into working in the media. I was starting my career in journalism and was very aware of, of what was going on and the role that the media was playing. So it's really interesting looking back at that and the appalling treatment, really, that the Spice Girls were subject to, especially after their initial rise and then when Jerry Halliwell went solo and they started having babies, started families and there's a clip of Victoria Beckham going on TFI Friday and Chris Evans says, have you lost the weight? And she says, yes. And he, he says, let's check, pulls out a set of scales, makes her stand on them and zooms in on her on her weight. How, how invasive. You like to think that would never happen now, but obviously there's still a big issue with um, body image and misogyny and that whole side of things. And I think what happens is, and we saw bits of this with the Levison inquiry as well, that when the media machine gets going, they become very desensitized and they start seeing people as uh, products or pawns, uh, as caricatures, you know, as dolls, I think sometimes with the, with the Spice Girls, sometimes with, with women. And well, they'll do what I tell them, and it doesn't matter. It's all fun, you know. I, I'm, I, I know I'm okay. They'll just put up with whatever I throw at them, and I have to say, I think that that can still go on. I think that still happens. I think that's something that individuals and businesses really need to be aware of. I think, especially if you're going to try and court the media, and there's no doubt that. You know, that the Spice Girls did that. The Spice Girls and their management deliberately courted the media. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, but it does come with a risk. And the risk is, of course, that the media will say, well, hey, yeah, that's fine. We'll You play your game and we'll play ours. And if you're not prepared for that, if you're not protected from that, that can be very, very dangerous. And one thing that the uh, Spice Girls documentary highlighted last night was that there was a protection for the Spice Girls when there was five of them. But as soon as one went out on their own, she became a target. And then when a couple of others decided to do something slightly different, whether that was starting solo careers as well as being in the band, or daring to start families, or daring to be in a high-profile relationship, they became targets too. And it became very difficult for them, I think, to hold all that together and um, it's a really worthwhile documentary go and have a look at it um, you'll get them on on uh, channel 4's catch-up service the last couple of episodes it's on again next week too but I think it's a really interesting look at what the media can do and how they operate and what you need to do and it's something we really work at in our media training preparing you uh, to cope with it and to try and take back some control yourself